Hello class, I'm teacher Daniel and today we will discuss the problems involving sets. In this topic, we will use the Venn diagram so we can easily visualize the relationships between sets. So first, let's go with the Venn diagram. The Venn diagram is a pictorial representation involving relations between and among sets. It is usually consists of a rectangle which is the universal set and the circle or circles which represent sets. It was named after its inventor, John Venn. Let's have example number one. 20 students were interviewed, 12 played chess, 10 played volleyball, and 5 played both chess and volleyball. The questions are, how many students played chess only? How many students played volleyball only? And how many students did not play chess or volleyball? So, to answer this problem, we will use Venn diagram. The rectangle represents the universal set, and the two circles represent the two sets, which are students who played chess and students who played volleyball. Let us name the first set as C, and the second as V. First, we will put the data found in the last statement. 5 played both chess and volleyball. So we will put 5 at the middle where the circles overlap. Next is 10 played volleyball. Since we already have 5 students who played volleyball, so we will subtract it from 10. So we will have 10 minus 5, and that is equal to 5. Last is 12 students played chess. Since we already have 5 students who played chess, so we will subtract it from 12. We will have 12 minus 5 equals 7. So we have 7 students who played chess only. 5 students who played volleyball only, and 5 students who played both chess and volleyball. If we add all of them, we have 17 students. But remember, based on the given, 20 students were interviewed. So, where is the other 3? They are outside the circles because they are students who did not play chess or volleyball. We already completed our data on the Venn diagram. So now, we can answer the following questions. How many students played chess only? The answer is 7 students. Number 2, how many students played volleyball only? The answer is 5 students. And last, how many students did not play chess or volleyball? The answer is 3 students. Next is example number 2. A group of 60 students were asked whether they eat or whether they watch Eat Bulaga or Showtime, or both programs. 38 of these students watch It Bulaga, and 32 watch Showtime. The questions are, How many watch It Bulaga only? How many watch Showtime only? And how many watch both news programs? For our solution, we will use Venn diagram. 
let us name the first set as E and S for showtime. E for itbulaga and S for showtime. First, let's add those students who watch itbulaga and those who watch showtime. So that's 38 plus 32 equals 70. Then, subtract it or subtract uh, 60 from it. Because there are 60 students in the set. So, 70 minus 60 equals 10. So, there are 10 students who watch both Itbulaga and Showtime. Then, to get the number of students who watch Showtime only, we have 32 minus 10. That's 22. For Itbulaga, 38 minus 10 is 28. So, there are 28 students who watch Itbulaga only. If we add all of them, we have 28 plus 10 plus 22, that is equal to 60. So now, we can answer the given problem. How many watch Itbulaga only? There are 28 students who watch Itbulaga only. How many watch Showtime only? The answer is 22 students. How many watch both news program? The answer is 10 students. To see if you learn something, let's have learning task number 1. A group of 80 students were asked whether they eat carbonara or spaghetti or both pastas. 43 of these students eat carbonara and 52 eat spaghetti. Number 1. How many students eat carbonara only? Number 2. How many students eat spaghetti only? And number 3. How many students eat both carbonara and spaghetti? Thank you. Our next topic is all about absolute value of a number.